Hello guys, I hope you're good and I hope you're doing good. Greeting to all the poultry farmers and uh, I hope you are having a wonderful day with your poultry. And uh, today we want to talk about this infectious bacteria called E. coli. So this infectious disease, most of you maybe have not noticed it, but most of you maybe have come across this name, E. coli. When you buy your antibiotics, of course, you you find like on the on the treatments of that antibiotic there's e coli and other diseases that you need to cheat and other infectious bacteria that that antibiotic that you've bought needs to treat so e coli is uh, it's a bacteria that is usually found in the intestines and this bacteria survives for a long time in our poultry like it's not in the chicken, but it can survive in the urethra system for a longer period of time. Because this disease, I can say, it waits for another infectious bacteria to go in into your bed so that it suppresses the immune system, becomes weak. Then this disease joins that disease that goes in into your, your chicken. Like, for example, maybe cough and flu, which is caused by psychoplasma, the receptacle. Then it will join forces. That's how this disease is tricky. It comes in as a secondary disease into your chickens. So you need to make sure your poultry, your litter system is well managed. So for you to, to know like my beds are having E. coli bacteria, you need to see like your beds, they've got, you know, laughed hair, like this chicken, which is here, you can see how it looks. This chicken, you are definitely can say like it does, it has E. coli. Then you find like the bed is deplaced. You see like the bed is not performing well. Then you know most of the time when the bed is having an E. coli because the stomach, the intestines are not okay, which means even the reduction of feeding also comes in. You find like your bed is not eating way too much like the way the other beds are eating because of. Uh, the intestine are uh, having that uh, bacteria inside them. Then another symptom that you will notice from your chickens, you'll find like the, the, the sound of the chicken changes. They'll change the sound, the way they'll sound, the way they are breathing. You see like there's a change in the sound of the chicken. When you curl it, you'll find like there's a strange sound of which it is giving out. So that now, gets you aware like oh my chicken is having this infectious disease but when you see like your chicken are having that bacteria which means there's another disease that's in so you need to be careful when you check in because you you will notice like okay this disease doesn't just come in which means the other disease is also in so this is where now it comes to a point whereby you buy the medication which treats e coli and also maybe the disease which will treat it CRD, which is respiratory, a respiratory infection, so which is cough and flu. So you know, like these have joined forces. So which means you need to make sure when buying your medication, you buy the one which can treat E. coli, and the one that will treat this other disease that is in the chicken, because this one doesn't just come in on its own. Then the way you can you can prevent this disease from coming into your chicks we've mentioned about litter system your litter system needs to be well managed to make sure this disease doesn't come in your poultry then the second thing you don't have to overcrowd your beds you know most of these diseases that comes into our poultry they come in because of uh, most of the time you find like um, because the beds are having uh, stress like his stress, there's so kind, so many kind of stress, and there's a way you can treat this stress. You make sure your beds are having much vitamins, minerals that can help these beds from not getting stressed. So, again, when the temperature regulations in your poultry room is not well, of course they will they will raise up some stress from your beds, which is heat stress, which you also can trigger that disease from coming in and can trigger also other diseases from coming in because most of the diseases are usually triggered by stress from the chickens so another thing is of course you need to have feed good quality feed that will supply all the minerals nutrients proteins fat fiber that will need to support the bed growth without stressing then the other thing is you know 
like I've mentioned, this is a, just a secondary disease. It just comes in, it joins forces with other diseases. So when picking up your antibiotics, you need to make sure when you are treating E. coli, you choose antibiotics which contains this kind of uh, chemicals that I've mentioned that needs to be got in into this chicken. So you need to make sure you are aware what these type of chemicals are and these chemicals which are active to treat that bacteria to make sure that bacteria is suppressed so number one you need an antibiotic that contains cholestine sulfate so cholestine sulfate is very active to treat this kind of uh, disease and there's also we have prorosilidone this also needs to be there in your antibiotic that you are going to buy also we have fluoroquinolones this needs to be there in your antibiotic. You need to make sure that thing is available there so that you can treat this kind of a disease perfectly without having any problem. Because sometimes you find like when your beds are having a disease that you cannot treat, you've used all types of antibiotics. Maybe it's because you didn't check the contents which are in that antibiotic. And that's the reason why that chicken can't get well. Again, there's also another reason because these diseases, when they join forces with other diseases, it's not easy to treat them. So, which I will make another video to make sure that you, because I can't finish everything in one video. So, I'll make another video to explain how these diseases and how these bacteria join forces with other bacteria. And you find like when you treat your beds, they don't have any good result out of those antibiotics that you've used. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've, you've, you've benefited from this content that I'm explaining on. Thank you guys and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any content that we put on this channel because on this channel all the contents that we put on our videos they are very important to your poultry farming business to make sure that you survive and to make sure that you, get, you don't get frustrated when doing business. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.